Okay, video started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, the everything we're gonna do today is the basis of all of your future movement. And what, to get it so it really sticks to your body and becomes part of how you move, you need to, this needs to be the first thing that you do every morning. You need to get, get this, is, this is how you start your day. Because you build this awareness and this connection. And at the beginning of the day, you, you bring it toward, into your rest of your day and you bring this awareness. So what you're going to do is that you're going to lay on your back. So go ahead and lay on your back and you're going to bend both knees and plant the feet. And then you want about 90 degrees here. So maybe a little bit more there. And then you want the feet to be about hip width apart. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to tilt the pelvis backwards and forwards three times. So go ahead and do that for me. Good. And then you're going to find what you feel is the middle of that range of motion. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, shoulders are going to go nice and wide. So this idea about that happening. And then back of the neck, long. So that. So So is the head tilted? So the, hel the head is... Chin is slightly tucked. Okay. So you see this tuck that I'm doing is a really right. big tuck. You want to do that same kind of thing. So go ahead and, and show, show me a tuck. Give me a tuck. So a tuck is, so drop the head down. A tuck is like that. So where you're doing this, oh. yep. But you want to keep the head down when you do the tuck. So right, like, so put the head down on the cushion and then okay. now like that. Oh, I and see stay what you're that saying. way. Yep. Okay, so that's the alignment. We want you to be able to keep this alignment no matter what you do. And the more times that you repeat this throughout your life, throughout your day, the more it becomes part of your body, which is what we want. So how many times? So you're just doing, you're just tucking that chin once and finding all, the, you're, all, you, all you're doing oh, right now is finding the alignment. The only thing that you're doing three times is that tilting of the pelvis right. backwards and forwards three times. Okay. Okay, so now we found the alignment. So now what we want to do is that we want to figure out how to make the body stronger, how to engage our muscles in a better way. And we're going to do something called the powerhouse. And the powerhouse is a combination of three things. First, breathing a specific way. Second, contracting a deep abdominal muscle called the transverse abdominus. And then third, contracting the muscles of the pelvic floor. So first, the breath. It's going to be in through the nose, out through the mouth, through pursed lips and tongue, meaning that you're going to try and slow the flow of air out of the mouth by using the tongue and the roof of the mouth. So it's going to look and sound like this. Shh. Can you show me? Good, good. Okay. Now, abdominal muscles. We have three layers of abdominal muscles. We have the rectus abdominis, the six-pack muscles that are here. Then we have the abdominal obliques that go on an oblique angle. And then we have the one we're concerned with now, the transverse abdominus goes transversely across the lower belly. And what that muscle does is it draws the lower belly back towards the spine. So if you take two fingers, put them right here, feel this pointy hip bone right there. Right. And then come just to the inside. Right. And I'm going to do this side. So now I want you to take a breath in. And then as you shh, try and draw the lower belly back towards the spine. And I already feel the contraction happening. You feel that nice tightening? Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Breath in. Shh. Okay. Now, muscles of the pelvic floor. So, pelvic floor muscles start down here in the pelvis. And the urethra, what we pee through, and anus, what we poop through, both pass through that muscle. When you contract that muscle, it moves up towards your head. And it takes penis, testicles, anus with it. If you uh, want to feel some cues, uh, stopping a pee in the middle of peeing is one way that you would contract that pelvic floor muscle. And the other one is holding in a fart. Can you contract your pelvic floor muscles? Yeah. Okay. So now we combine all three of those things. So now it's breath in. Breathe out. Draw in the lower belly. Lift the pelvic floor. Shh. Good. And you feel how this even got more strong, this contraction? Yeah. Good. Breath in. And again. So the only thing that you're doing a little bit is that you're actually changing the skeletal alignment when, you're doing, when we added that pelvic floor. And there shouldn't be any change in any skeletal position. We're just isometrically tightening muscles at this point in time. Okay. So breath in again. 
Breathe out. Good. And that looks better. You're still tilting. You're still tilting backwards just a little bit. Okay. But but that's okay. That that you'll I think you'll figure that out. So one more time. Breath in. Good. That looks really good. Okay. So so now take that breath in. So breathe out. Leg comes up right to there. Breath in. Leg comes down. Okay, now switch to the left side. Breath in. The leg comes up. But it comes up when my breath comes in? So it, you start the breath out and you turn all of this powerhouse stuff on. And after about a second of feeling all that turned on, then you move the leg. Okay. Perfect. And then breath in again. And the same thing, you breathe it out, stabilize for a second, and the leg comes down. Good. Go back to this side. And then back to the left side. 